What's up guys, Matt here with Semi Pro Photo coming to you from the great state of Louisiana where the roads are bad and the food is so good. I just wanted to kind of give a gear uh, review for the first time. I'm sorry for the audio, this is coming straight out of camera and I've got no other way, I'm sorry. Alright, so I, I wanted to give my review of this lens. I'm actually recording on this lens. I actually borrowed it from a friend of mine and it is fantastic. I have shot a couple weddings with it. I have shot a music video and I am so impressed with it. It is fantastic. It is the first native uh, Sony mount lens that I have had and I am so impressed with it. Let me tell you what I do like about it. It is the, the 2.8 constant aperture of this lens. It is fantastic to zoom in to 75 millimeters and get that same compression is fantastic it's fantastic it's great in low light it is great for video as you can tell uh, it is great for just about everything and look i don't mind losing the uh the four millimeters on the wide side to get the extra five on the long side because I do more client work than I do like vlog stuff and things like that. In fact, usually for vlogging, I would use a GoPro. I know, shame, shame, right? But um, I don't do vlogging very much. I like to do these talking head things. But for client work, I, I'm almost always taking long compressed uh, pictures, especially for weddings, especially for portraits. So uh, it really doesn't matter that much to me. 28 millimeters is wide enough, trust me, and I would rather have that extra five millimeters on the longer end as compared to the G Master. Uh, I have not used a G, a G Master. I will, I'll be the first to, to uh, say that I don't have uh, all the gear. I changed to a Sony after shooting two weddings. I changed to a Sony and I love it. I love everything about it, but I am more familiar with Canon, and, and I had the uh, Canon lineup before I changed to Sony. So like everybody else would do, I would spend all of my money on a body on the, on the A7 III, and I wouldn't have enough for a uh, lens. So this Tamron is a lifesaver. It is a great, great, great lens. Now, I got it used from, from that same friend that I actually upgraded to the G Master. But here's what I found funny. Uh, after he upgraded uh, and sold this to me, he bought the same Tamron 28 to 75 lens. Uh, he bought the same lens. So the fact that he bought this lens twice uh, is a testament to how good this lens actually, actually is. Now, I did shoot several uh, singer uh, uh, sessions with this. It has been fantastic. Now, it, it doesn't quite have as good of a bokeh as a 1.8 or 1.6 or 1.4, but the focusing of this lens is fantastic. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. Even when it misses focus, it doesn't really miss focus. It is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I have never seen a lens paired with a camera that misses focus and it doesn't miss focus. It is it is fantastic. Even in group shots at f 2.8, you can still use them because all, everybody is almost in focus. So much so that I could actually use them. Now, uh, I I will admit I'm so used to, to shooting couples that I'm I'm not used to shooting groups. I do shoot groups at weddings and I do know to uh, bump up my f stop there, but. Sometimes I forget, and let me tell you, even with this lens at 2.8, if you have uh, two, two layers of people in a group, or, or three layers, it's probably going to hit it. It's prob probably gonna hit it, and the people in, in the background are not going to be as out of focus as they were, especially on like an f1.8 uh, lens. Now, don't, don't get me wrong, I still love f1.8 lenses, my first, F1.8 was the Canon uh, 50, mil, 50 millimeter F1.8, and I actually just sold it. I, I, I 
and figured I'm not going to use that too too much more and I, I was using an adapter to my Sony uh, camera and uh, it just wasn't working as well so this is a fantastic replacement for it it is a fantastic replacement and let me tell you this it is 10 times better than any kit lens you will get I can promise you and at, at the price point I mean you can buy this thing brand new for like 800 bucks uh, I don't know the exact amount I bought this used from a friend who gave me an extremely good deal so good of a deal that I'm not going to tell you how how much it was but uh, this is a lens that's going to pay for itself and I promise you guys if you want to get into the photography business buy good glass spend more money on a lens than you do your camera body once you get to the point where your camera body is getting in, in the way of what you want to, to do then upgrade your camera body but don't do like me and spend all your money on a body and then not have enough money for a really good lens this is a really good lens and i there are so many people that aren't that have gone from the g master to this lens because you can buy the entire trinity 17 to 28 all all the way up to the 180 from tamron for this e-mount for about the same price as one g master lens I can't get over that. I can't get over that. I can have the whole set, the whole Trinity for the same price as the DG Master. Now, if I ever get to the point where I'm charging $3,000 or more for a uh, wedding, I may get the G Master lenses. But I can tell you this, paired with this A7 III, I, it is awesome. It is awesome. So let me tell you a little bit about the uh, music video that I shot, uh, I shot it with with my cousin MLPC. Link in description. Go check his music out. He is the next big thing. I'm telling you, he's gonna hit it big and he's gonna take me with him because he is fantastic. He is awesome. So uh, I'm a country music guy. I, I like country music. I don't like rap as much, but at the, at the same time. Uh, this guy is fantastic. This guy is so good. So we shot a music video in his own house and it was a very simple set up, very simple video. But the fact is, is that I shot a music video for the first time and I'm so excited. I'm a much better photographer than I am a cinematographer. I've said that before uh, and that should be obvious with this background I'm in my house I've got a, a video light here that I probably am not lit just right but that's okay though I, I am learning so I want you guys to learn with me so uh, it, it was awesome it was fantastic I loved it this lens can do it all I am telling you you can make money with this lens you can shoot a wedding I will tell you this um, uh, I would like to get closer I'm probably going to end up getting the uh, 70 to 180 from Tamron because it is exactly like this lens and you can get closer with it and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it but I can tell you this it is fantastic by the way you can get some really cool almost macro shots it is amazing I took some pictures of some flowers and just some things in our backyard and it is fantastic I can't wait to use this lens at my next wedding where I'm taking pictures of the rings and the little details and it is going to be awesome guys. Thank you so much for spending your time with me, uh, learning from me hopefully. And thank you uh, Tamron for making such a really, such a really, such a good lens. Thank you Tamron for making such a good lens. That is. This has been a lifesaver for me. Uh, it is the only lens I'm gonna need right now. And thank you so much for making such an inexpensive quality lens. Keep up the good work, guys. Thank you so much. And thank you guys for reviewing this. Uh, uh, see my other videos. I, I've got one that is pretty popular. It's a, it's a little stupid short film and it's horrible and it's really dumb and really bad but it was my first attempt at a short film 
and it's meant to be a joke so don't take it too seriously but i want you to check it out it's gonna be up here somewhere so thank you so much for all that that you do love you guys bye